Hey guys, it's me for all of us, Wise Person Fans. It's your Keith Pass was Thank you guys for a cool, awesome video. This video is part of a series called Blindness at EU. Basically, we give you guys tips and tricks and numerous different things about blindness visual impairment. So let's get right into this video. So this video, we're talking about the difference between a QWERTY keyboard and a Braille keyboard. Uh, for some of you, you might know this. For others, you may not. So let's get right into it. So a QWERTY keyboard is your basic standard keyboard. Let me grab it here. So your keyboard will typically look like this. Uh, you will typically have your, you know, your enter keys, your numbers, all those different things. Basically what you would normally see in a basic uh, keyboard with your computer or, uh, you know, what you would get. Basically the idea behind QWERTY is that where the home row is, that's that's the idea of it. So you can have your home row keys and things like that. So this is, this is normal, right? Um, and the difference is, is that this has all 26 alphabets, numbers, other signs, things like that, all on here, right? Space bar and everything, right? Difference between that is this is the basic keyboard, right? For computers, right? How the difference is, is that, so I have a Braille display, uh, I have a Braille display called the Braille Edge 40. And this has a, what's considered a Perkins uh, Perkins Braille keyboard layout. I believe that's proper terminology. I'm not quite sure. I think it's Perkins keyboard. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, the idea is, is that this is the Braille Edge 40. Now, obviously you see the difference between keys. Now, don't worry about these arrow buttons on the right and left sides. Don't worry about those. Just leave those out of it. That is just for scrolling and getting to different files and things. What we want to focus on is these keys in the middle. So what these keys are is to designate uh, what, you're, what you're typing. So the idea is, is that Braille is a cell system. And what that means is that it's the Braille cell system is made of two dots across and three dots up and down. So on the um, left side, you have from the top to the bottom one, two, and three. And on the right side, you have dots from the top to the bottom four, five, and six, which coincide with these six keys. Now you've probably seen these two and ones and you're like, well, there's eight keys there. I'm getting to that. Don't worry about it, but just focus on these, these six keys in the middle. There's three on the left and three on the right. The three on the left and three on the right coincide with those numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And based upon what you type in, you get an A, you get a B, you get a C, you get a D, all those great different things, or you get contractions, things like that. So that's ultimately the difference between the two keyboards. The other thing is that this does have a space bar. Uh, so you do have a spacebar function. Uh, the other types of things here, so you, you, like I said, is that you guys were wondering about uh, the numbers. Uh, technically, if you were using 8-cell Braille, this would be 4 and 8. Um, but for our instances, I don't consider them to be 4 and 8 because I don't use 8-cell uh, Braille. I consider these to be Enter and Backspace. Um, so when I need to press enter, it'll be this side. If I press dis, uh, backspace, it'll be this side. Uh, also, don't worry about these buttons below the keyboard, by the way. These are also um, other function keys, but I just want you to focus on the ones up here on the top of the uh, device. So the idea is, is that the more that you press, uh, you know, the different cells, uh, the more that they will show up on your screen. But they will also, this is why it's called a Braille display, is because instead of me having paper where I'm implementing, uh, having Braille uh, on a piece of paper, this is a Braille display which electronically, depending on what I type up here in the documents that I'm doing, it will show up on the bottom here by raising pins uh, via a uh, digital mechanics in the device. So I'll be able to do it this way instead of having to use tons and tons of paper. It's also very easy. And if you guys see here also, keyboards, the QWERTY keyboards do not have SD cards. This SD card holds all of my information right now. All my books, all the stuff I'm learning in Braille right now, it just goes right into the side here. And all I have to do is turn it on and go to Notepad. And Notepad is the major way of getting through documents on this particular device and searching it out and looking at stuff. But like I said, guys, is that this is the difference. You have your Perkins layout of your keys. Then you have your, your outer keys, the outer ones to the far left and far right are your confirm and backspace buttons. And yeah, so that's ultimately the difference. So instead of like, you know, instead of hitting like... Uh, for for regular keyboard, instead of hitting, you know, 
A, instead of hitting A, you would go to the Perkins Brailler or Perkins Perkins layout, uh, and you would hit this button. And when you hit once, it would show a cell where where the top left dot is raised, and then two and three and four and five and six are all lowered. So all you'd see is that one dot, and that would be A. So that is basically the difference between the two keyboards is that there you know this is a uh, a lot quicker in some cases if you're a braille user for me i've been finding out that it's a lot quicker for me to type this way than to use a qwerty keyboard which is very very interesting but otherwise that is pretty much it for the distinguishings of between a uh, a braille uh, keyboard or Perkins layout uh, versus a QWERTY keyboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something in this. I am very interested to hear you guys' thoughts, whether you have blindness, visual impairment. If you got questions, comments, other great stuff, you know where to put them. If you enjoyed this video in any shape or form, like, favorite, or share it. It would be fantastic. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. There's more great content coming out. I still want you to miss it because there's going to be some awesome stuff coming out. Otherwise, thank you so very, very much for viewing this video. Remember, the perseverance is your key to possible, and I'll see you guys in future blindness.edu videos.